Greetings folks. In this video I'm going to be having a look at the updated version of the Secure SI012 soldering iron. This is the SI012 Pro. It's a, it's a, uh, a small update to the already wonderful little DC intelligent soldering iron. These are the only sorts of soldering irons I use these days. They are just so fantastic. They work very well for everything that I do. Um, I'm actually using the little D uh, 60 version mostly just because that was the one that was top of the top of the box basically but I do like the uh, the big um, hand hold on the D60 this is sort of the uh, the cheapest and the most basic version but it works very well uh, however the SI012 is a little bit more intelligent and uh, can do higher voltage so this one can use the, the longer 001 tips and the shorter T12 tips as well. So uh, let's open it up and have a closer look. So here we are, we get the nice little instruction manual, Chinese and English. And it's packaged in a nice little foam surround. Uh, you can see these have wonderful little uh, see-through casings and you can see what they've done with this one is they have both sets of copper contacts in there so you don't have to open it up and uh, screw in the alternative contacts when changing from the shorter tips to the longer tips uh, so we get two tips a nice big chisel tip good for soldering xt60 connectors and uh, battery terminals things like that and a nice uh, fine tip for soldering pins onto flight control boards. We also get a little um, soldering stand. We get uh, an Allen key and some spare screws and that's all there is. So it's just simplified version really to keep the price down. So we just uh, grab whichever tip you want, sh poke it in and tighten up the uh, retaining set screw or uh, grub screw whatever you want to call it there you go doesn't come with a power supply but uh, these are pretty plentiful i have one sitting right here that one is uh, xt60 and the 5225 whatever it is style um, power supply and there we go we're ready to go we have an a and a b button little led screen there uh, and i believe you can put your own flash screen on there if you want to if connect it up to your computer uh, and upload firmware things like that 12 volt to 25 volts which is uh, 3s to 6s i usually power mine off a, a little power supply like that one there on uh, 4s or 16 volts and that seems to work very nicely for me so let's go over to the website and check out some of the specs so here we are, the Secure SI012 Pro Intelligent LED Electric Soldering Iron. Built-in buzzer for T112. Adjustable sensitivity and built-in buzzer for the T12. Uh, you can see that it's $53 for the kit, which includes the power cord, uh, some solder and a little case, or what we're showing here is the cheaper uh, non-kit or just the, the uh, soldering iron itself. You can see all the different sorts of tips you can buy. I'll just point out the, the key points. Maximum temperature is 450 degrees C. Um, I've occasionally gone up to 400 uh, but I usually just use 350. That works for everything. PD 3.0 power supply. That's USB power supply and uh, 12 volt to 25 volt 3S to 6S. Brightness can be adjusted on the OLED display. You can uh, adjust temperature compensation and uh, self-calibration. I've never done that. It just seems to work out of the box to, for me. Low voltage protection so you don't ruin your supply battery. High temperature and high voltage alarm, safe and reliable. Uh, supports user-defined logo, that's what I was talking about, and firmware upgrades. So looking close up at the barrel, we've got the power supply there and the USB-C connector, LED display, A button and B button, and that's pretty much all it is. 
They heat up really quickly on what I'm using, 16 volts. They take about 20 seconds to heat up to working temperature. Working temperature you can set yourself and they can be carried out into the field too. You can be soldering up, repairing your model in the back of the, back of the car or in the field, just using a, a 4S LiPo, fantastic. Okay, going back to So I've plugged it into my power supply, 16 volts, 16.1 volts. Let's start the, let's uh, turn the power supply on, of course, 16.2. Got the startup screen, it's showing accurate voltage in there. It's currently ambient, about 12 degrees, and the working temperature is set at 300. And it's heating up very quickly, it heated up already. I can change the working temperature easily, 250, 200. 150, 100, 350 I like to set it at. There we go, ready to go. Amazing little soldering iron, so simple to use, so uh, powerful and adaptable. Uh, they just work. They, they suck whatever they need from the battery or from the power supply uh, and provide it at the tip. Pushing the B, push and hold the B button and we've got some menu selections there. Iron idle OLED volt calibration and about. Let's have a look what's available in the iron menu. Temperature compensation, buzzer on or off, temperature unit, working temperature 300. Uh, I won't go through the menu, there's uh, stacks of stuff there. So to turn it on and off, we're basically pushing the A button, pushing and holding the A button. So that's stop now. So that's cooling down. Push it again and working. That's basically all you need to know about it. You can go in and play with the menu if you want to, but uh, basically turn it on and start soldering is, is the way I use it.